How are you? Good, how's it going? It's going great. <laughs> gonna do a hike? Yeah, I've never been here before. I'm gonna check it out. Oh, okay. It's a great trail. Huh? I think everything's open today. Is everything open today? Yeah, All the trail? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That makes sense. <laughs> The terrain's pretty challenging in some areas. I think you'll probably... Yeah, yeah, yeah. came for a workout. So. You'll like it. I don't know if you've got five minutes to kill before you do your hike. Sure. But I have short little chats with people to examine a belief that you really think is true or you, you, you hold dearly, like a dearly held belief. Okay. And I just ask questions and it's very similar to when we were both in school and like a teacher would ask us to double check each other's math work like on a really long complex problem mm -hmm. and then we might say oh wow yeah anthony you skipped a step here or you should have added when you subtracted that type of thing so what i'm getting at is that sometimes even by the end of a short talk you might be left wondering how you concluded that something was true in the first place Sounds pretty cerebral, dude. I don't know. I don't know, man. <laughs> you got to go a little easier on me, man. <laughs> <to clear> my <laughs> head. <laughs> this would I'll, definitely I'll help if I can, but you know what I mean. This uh, would uh, probably give you more to think about on the trail than anything. Uh -oh. Some topics that people pick, and that's the neat thing is that you can pick any topic. So, like, we don't have to pick God, for example. We can pick. Um, so, what's going to give me the best? Karma. Here. Hmm? Oh. Do uh, you, you know these trails? Not very well. Oh, okay. No. There's one called Vista Loop. If you make your way to Vista Loop, you'll get the best view. Okay. Yeah. Very good. So do, do Main Loop and then you get this oh, little... Oh, that's great. Yeah. Yeah. That's probably the best way main to Main Loop and then I'll jump over on Ferndale to get to Vista Loop and come around that way. I think way. so. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Cool. Have fun. Thank you. Yeah, you want me to hit you on the way down or what? I don't know if I'm going to be here much longer. Okay. Uh, it's getting a little warm. Okay. My equipment tends to overheat you know, when I. Okay. When all I right. Do it. All right. But, so, yeah. how long does this thing take? Five. I time it for five minutes. Okay. All right. Let's do it. Oh, okay. Give cool. You, I'll give you a hand. Would you be willing to let me record it as well? Uh, sure. Okay. Yeah. What's this about? It's generally about any topic you pick. Okay. But I have this hypothesis mm -hmm. that humans are building maps of reality in their minds mm -hmm. right we have all these experiences people tell us things we're building this map so the questions that I'll ask will basically be just double checking the map that you've constructed in your mind to see mm -hmm. if it comports with reality mm -hmm. but it could be about any belief okay. a couple examples would be karma mm -hmm. prayer mm -hmm. a god exists I saw a ghost it can be political, whatever you whatever you want to do. What is your first name? Um, Jonathan. I'm Anthony. Hey, Anthony. Nice to meet it's you. It's very nice to meet you too. So, with all that being said, is it O N or A N? A N. Okay. Yeah. Let's pick a belief that okay that influences you fairly regularly. Um, personal independence. No, it just came to me. Okay. How do you define personal independence? Um, the confidence and the support to trust your instinct with choices that feel right for you. Confidence and the support to trust your instincts to make cho the choices that are, that feel right for you. Okay. Choices. Hmm. Okay. How did you ever come to this belief in the first place? Um, I don't. Uh, 
just from trial and error, a lot of trial and error, a lot of uh, conservative up upbringing, a lot of being told there was a, a, a black and a white world and a certain way that you do things and a certain way that you just didn't do things. And and then the trial and error of, of making choices where I didn't trust my gut on things or didn't follow an instinct or something and regretting that and then, um, and feeling growing up in the South the fences that society puts around us down here and how it limits us as individuals and you know that really just um, feels unfair that, that other people are putting their um, opinions about how others should live their life and forcing those opinions on them I think everybody mm. should be free to do what they're born to do, what feels right to them, what they're led to do. <clears throat> is that not an opinion as well? It is. You no, know, my, my opinion is opinion. It's my opinion, yeah, absolutely. Mm. It's all mine. <laughs> Can you think of a time where you used your instinct, your gut, you got a feeling that you should proceed a certain way, and then you did, and then you now look it back at that and say, well, that was my personal independence, and it, it didn't lead me astray. Absolutely. Okay. Absolutely. I mean, I think that's that's reaffirmed my belief in what we're talking about. You know, it's reaffirmed that that uh, you know I needed to to follow my own instincts, instincts, and if I did, that I would be on the right path. You know. Um, Do your instincts, your guts, your feelings always lead you to the right path? Um, yes. Yes. It might not be, let me, in, in, uh, let me clarify that by saying it might not be the path that I would think, but I feel like it's the right path. Yeah. I'm a little confused on how you would think that it's the... What? Well, it might not lead me down a path that I expected, but it's always the right path. Hmm. Yeah. Do you have any way of testing your instinct, your gut, your feelings? No, that's that's what makes it. That's the, where faith comes in. You know, you just have to trust that. Um, and I just trust that. Um, you know, my instinct will take me to the right place again, even if it's not the place that I expect. And, and even more important, that I trust it, especially if it's not taking me to the place that I expect or could have projected. You know. Mm -hmm. If you have no way of testing your instincts, your guts, your feelings, and it's always the right path, mm -hmm. how do you know that it's actually working in the way that you think that it is? I don't have any thoughts about how it's supposed to work. I don't have any preconceived notions about the result of how it's supposed to work. Um, I have to trust that, you know, that that path that I'm that I put myself on, my gut and my instinct that the higher power has put me on is the right path for me, you know. Earlier you were looking at a map of the trail. Mm -hmm. Why don't you just use your gut and just go for it? Um, well, I mean, there's practical things in life that, you know, I mean, <laughs> you know, I mean, I, I just, it's, it's the same reason why you do, I mean, there's directions and practicalities in life that you do, that you follow, you know. I'm talking about the larger decisions in life. I'm not talking about, do I take a right or a left at this fork? You know, you know what I mean? You're saying that the more important the decision is, the more likely you are to not look at a map that you'll just use your gut instinct? I'm talking about life decisions, more or less. Don't, 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 yeah, don't, I don't mean to drill down to every decision in my life before I make it. I trust my gut. I mean, I'm talking about the larger decisions in life, you know, the, the life-changing decisions, job, marriage, family, um, friendships, future, those types of things you know, I'm talking about. I'm not talking about do I take a right or left on a, on a nature trail, you know. So if I understand correctly, and we, we've hit our five, so I want to get, get you back on the trail. Yeah. Um, if I understand correctly, and if this isn't it, please correct me, but I think what you're saying is that 
the more important the decision, the more likely you are to use your gut instinct to make a choice. I would say that's generally true. I, 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 let me tell you this: I, the more the more important it is for me to try to try to do that. I don't always do that. Hmm. You know, I like a lot of people. I think you know, I, I think about things rationally sometimes, and I tend to overthink things. But the, the more important decision, the harder I make an effort at trying to listen to my own instinct and follow that. Yeah. Okay. What do you think would have been the outcome if you just, because it is your first time here, and you just started running through the trail and really didn't know which way you were going, and you just used your gut instinct? I think it would have been fine. I think it would have been fine. I think um, I wouldn't have gotten lost. I'd have asked somebody somewhere along the way if I'd gotten turned around, and I'd, I'd have probably had a great experience. Yeah, um, but I can't, you know, it's got a lot of miles of trails, and I've only got an hour, so I wanted to, Kind of hit the highlights and make sure I hit. Like for instance, I asked you about the vista. Right. You know, I wanted to get to the higher elevation and like really, being my first time here, I wanted to kind of get a, a flavor of what it had to offer. Um, and so not really following a map, I could have got off on some side trail and had had an hour at the at the lower heights and left and never really experienced the the summit, which is kind of what I was after. So. Mm. You know. Is it fair to say that to reduce the risk of not hitting your goal, mm -hmm. you sought information before you decided to Absolutely. embark on the trail? Absolutely. Absolutely. Sure. Okay. Sure. But when it comes to important decisions in your life, you tend not to do that? No. I, I, it's not like I'm not getting information with important decisions. It's different. It's... It's not a scientific process, first of all. So I'll, I'll try, I definitely try to get all the information to make those decisions, and then I'll trust my instinct. It's not that I don't, it's, it's not an informed decision. Um, but, you know, I think I try to take, you know, I'll ask friends, I'll, I'll get as much information as I can, I'll, and then I'll sit with myself, you know, and really kind of think about it and, and, and you know, turn more inward and in, in for those types of decisions. Once I have all the all the information that I feel like I need to a certain point, you'll never have all the information. Then I, I sit and think about it and trust my gut on it. Yeah, it's it's not. I don't I don't want to mislead you into thinking it's just a wild ass guess. You know, I mean, I, I don't I don't. That's not what I mean by trust your gut. I think you you know. For me personally, I like being informed, but you know, lots of times there's no clear choice on things. There's pros and cons to everything. You know, you take your little graph and you put all your pros on one side and all your cons on the other, and every choice has, will have pros and cons. But making the final decision has to has to feel has to resonate has has to feel right with you. I think. Okay. Okay. So that kind of makes um, sense because yeah, because yeah. sometimes there are things that. You can do all the research, like let's say we're buying a car or something, right? And you can do all the research, test drive everything, but at some point you're going to just have to go with, I guess, what feels Which one do you right? feel better driving? You've done all the research, <laughs> and it might not be the one that, on paper, looks like the best. Yeah. But I do suppose that you could probably eliminate some choices by... Okay, what's my price range? Uh, what color really do Absolutely. I do I need? Absolutely. Or, or, or what are my needs as far as or look, yeah, transporting hey, look, I kids? I bought a really fancy car that was out of warranty one time, and I felt great driving it, right? But once I took it to the shop a few times, I was like, uh, probably wasn't the best choice. I traded <laughs> that sucker in, you know? Mm. So yeah, to your point, absolutely. Are you saying that sometimes going off of gut instinct can you lead you to the wrong choice? Um, I. If you're looking at it, it, it depends on how you, you, I don't like to categorize right and wrong. I really don't. Let me say, it, let me say yeah. mistaken and correct. No, I don't, I don't think, again, it's not a scientific process when we're talking about major, major choices, life choices. I don't think you can say this was incorrect or this, because my feeling is they all lead you somewhere. But in your mind, where your gut always leads you is always correct. Correct. That's how I view it. Yeah. 
Mm -hmm. Even if it's not the choice I, I thought of, even if it's not didn't take me to where I thought it would be, it took me someplace else, and that was the correct choice for me if I was following my gut. That's how I feel. For instance, you know, in my life, I, 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 um, <clears throat> you know, I've gotten a lot of great things, a lot of surprising, wonderful things in my life that I could never have anticipated by kind of letting go of controlling and managing everything in my life, you know? Um, so, I just think that, you know, nobody's a, a better guide than that voice um, in my personal belief is the higher power that that's our voice you know if we can plug into it and we and we follow the, that voice that's talking to us and, and and informing our instinct and if we follow that we're never going to be in a, in a bad or wrong place again I, I try to not look at it as right and wrong I just try to look at it as a different place I don't I just don't judge that stuff scientifically you know well thank you so very much for yeah, time. Yeah man. I really appreciate yeah. it. All right. Good luck to you. I enjoyed it. All Take right. care. Well that was a wild ride with Jonathan. He started off with a topic of personal independence and then very quickly we shifted to a discussion about how he uses his instinct he gets a feeling he uses his gut and it always leads him to the correct outcome I found it interesting that he would use the word faith for a topic that seemed fairly secular in nature I thought for a second there that he may have seen a glimpse of the problem with what he was saying because we use the example of him looking to navigate to a position on the trail that would give him the, the best view and what did he do he sought out a map he asked me for guidance rather than just using his gut instinct and hopping on the trail I'm not really sure that conversation made a lasting impact on him I don't know perhaps when he's standing at the top of that vista that he navigated to because of my help and the map that he used perhaps he'll give it a little bit more thought